Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Zach. And today, we're going to complain about my beard. I, I feel like, like it's too puffy. Do you think it's too puffy? No. It's, uh, my, uh, my, my guy quit, and I had to find a new guy. And uh, I was looking kind of like a, a wild man in the last video. And then, look, it's, it's like it's still puffy here. I need to, need to. He was like, oh, I'll give you the 300 cut. You know, like uh, like the guy from Sparta. This is Sparta. Like it's like a little down, and then, but he <laughs> apparently the guy had cheeks. I don't know. It's very complicated. Anyway, hi. Uh, today we're going to talk about the International Arts and Crafts Festival. That is not the name. What is it called? The Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Festival of the Arts. It runs at Epcot from uh, January 17th through February 24th. So it has already started. Uh, I was there on opening day. Ooh. Uh, and, uh, there you go. But uh, as many of you know, we uh, follow the keto diet. We Well, we try to follow the keto diet. Um, uh, you know what? Keto, I'm going to... ke ke keto is, uh, is a loose term. We're, we're doing more low carb. We're not strict strict keto yeah it, it, we're not yeah we don't kill ourselves and on this ironically thing, but, we're filming this on what was a cheat day so <laughs> but let's talk about this uh this is a photo of us a year ago over like a year and a half ago and now see we've, we've lost quite a lot of weight off the keto diet so we do like following the keto diet and occasionally we cheat but hey that's not important uh the important part is is that there's a food festival at epcot and what do you do when you don't want to you know completely blow your diet so today we're going to tell you all of the keto friendly <laughs> items available at the arts and crafts festival i'm just gonna let you call it whatever you want <laughs> Uh, and this is kind of like a warm up because when the big festival comes, the food and wine festival, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get a little bit more in depth. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to tell you, uh, some of the, uh, dishes that are keto friendly. And this, there's some, a lot of caveats here. So go ahead. What are the caveats? Caveats are that these are all, well, they're not necessarily pre-prepared, but they're not cooking them to order necessarily. Yeah. You can leave things off if you want to, but... Mm -hmm. None of these are probably really truly keto. Yeah. And it's, it's one of those things. Just like you'd pay 35 cents a kilowatt hour for power at Disney when you're charging your car instead of nine cents at home, eh, you're going to get some close to keto things. So we'll just call it dirty keto. These are lower carb options. And of course, some of these options that we're going to give you today do have buns on them. And the concept here is to be that you would not eat the bun. So with that being said, uh, the very first place, the very first booth that has something for you would be the artist table. And that is over in America. Ooh. And it has a pan seared scallop with chorizo sausage, roast pepper, roasted red pepper coulis, and a Parmesan crisp. I had this when I was there. It is very good. It is expensive because A, well, it's, it's Disney and B, it's a scallop and it's very small. Yes. So if you're concerned about portion size, this isn't, <laughs> none of these are gonna, really going to fill you up, but yeah. it, it's very good. Right. And I don't think the festival, none of the festival food is designed to fill you. You're supposed Correct. to be you're able to You're supposed to eat yeah, around. Eat around. Uh, also, I forgot to mention uh, the pictures that we are including here are from the Disney food blog. So if you'd like a full rundown of every piece of food that is available at the festival, head over to DisneyFoodBlog.com. They have pictures and uh, descriptions of all the food available at the festival. Yes. So the next one is the Deconstructed Dish. This is right as you enter uh, World Showcase. Okay. Um, it was actually, uh, they were up and running for maybe 10 minutes and they still were not reopened. They shut down and didn't hadn't reopened by the time I left the park oh, on wow. opening day. Uh, a couple of the booths I think had had issues, but budget cuts. <laughs> what, what would we eat at the deconstructed dish? Uh, the deconstructed BLT, which yes. is a crispy pork belly to, with, covered with tomato jam and a soft poached egg. Yeah. So the pork belly and the egg, definitely keto options. The tomato jam, probably has some sugar in it probably obviously tomato is a fruit however yeah you're, you're walking a mile and a half around the world showcase right. and you should be able <laughs> you'll to, work it off you'll work that off 
Uh, also, now that I now that we've gone down two dishes here, I should probably bring this up. A lot of these places have wine. And uh, for us on our keto diet, we do not exclude wine. We do drink wine. Yes. Uh, not every day, but you know, if we go out to eat, we will have wine because it's fun. Also, alcohol does turn into carbs, and in your body is how your body processes them. However, there's there's a whole thing, and it's like yes. we we don't advocate going out and drinking, you know, Lefferson levels of of wine. But uh, is that a, that's a measurement, right? That's, <laughs> You'd have to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, a little bit of wine, hey. It, uh, yes, Th- this video and our food and wine festival video, maybe not the food and wine festival video. This video is focusing exclusively on food. Yeah. Um, just know that yeah. most we'll see. We'll all, see. all the desserts are out yeah. Yeah. and a very very large portion of the drinks are out yeah all right moving on uh the next booth for your uh, consideration is cuisine classique which despite the name you would think might be in france but it's in germany oh it's <laughs> germany classique uh, what you're going to have there is you have your choice of a red wine braised beef short rib with parsnip puree, broccolini, baby tomatoes, and aged balsamic, or uh, the other one. And again, same things before. If uh, the parsnip is fine, the parsnip puree is fine. The baby tomatoes, again, it's a fruit. You might not want to eat it. Um, I mean, tomatoes are the fruit of the devil, so <laughs> no, you don't. But The <laughs> second option that you have there is the seared corvina with braised ratatouille and lemon thyme. Beurre blanc. Blanc. I had the seared Corvina. Uh, it's a Corvina, if you don't know, as a fish. Mm-hmm. Um, this was probably the f- best thing I had of oh, the nice. things that I had at the festival that day. Yeah. Ratatouille uh, is basically a bunch of squashes. So zucchini, uh, summer squash, and, and something else. Uh, it's also a movie. Yeah, it's also a movie and soon to be a ride. Yes. Uh, what's the next place? It's Pop Eats! Exclamation point. Ooh. Um, I did not have this, and I have this on here as a maybe. Um, it's okay. the sous vide chicken roulade with apples and sage served with warm brie fondue blueberry and beet gel and garnished with beet chip crumbles. So right off the bat, there's a lot of fruit in there. Yes. So fruit's going to be higher in carbs. Um, but yeah. the portions, again, they're small enough that yeah. I don't think it's going to be a huge yeah. deal as long as the apples don't have added sugar i, th- I feel like apples are a fibrous enough uh, fruit that it's it's not a, it's not up to the high it's not high on the list of like right. don't eat that you know it's like what, what would be a good what like an orange an orange is just like sugar right it's just like um but yes. uh yeah the brie fondue sounds good the blueberry any kind of berry is preferable to of the fruits yeah the, the fruits berries are the lowest yeah. in carbs of the fruits uh beets or a vegetable, uh, garnish beet chip crumbles. Sounds good. And you can also get a shrimp ceviche with lime mint foam. Ooh. So ceviche just basically means that it's raw. <laughs> it's not. It, it's cooked in. It's cooked in acid. So it, it uses uh, olive oil and dead. someone will correct me. I'm sure. If you know what ceviche <laughs> actually ceviche is, is. <laughs> is a way of, of cooking that uh, it you it is served raw. But it because it has some kind of acid on the plate, like either vinegar or something on that that it, it basically cooks that way. Does that make any sense? Sure, it does. Um, I'm not a big huge foodie, so you could be spouting a whole bunch of nonsense, and I'd say yes because I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm I'm probably in over my head on that one. So uh, I I do know from watching Food Network that ceviche is a type of cooking, and I like ceviche and. Uh, that's all I know. If we're completely wrong and you know what ceviche actually is, yeah. leave it in the comments down below. Leave some comments. And if I was really, really wrong, send me an email. <laughs> the uh, wdwaristocrats at gmail.com. All right. Uh, the next place that you can eat. Was that me? No, yeah, it was you. Okay, the next place that you can eat is the Masterpiece Kitchen. Which is in Canada. Canada. My Canada. The, they kept the song in the new Canada film. For you all, got for, a new film that has opened the original up. song. Eugene Levy and Catherine what's O'Hara. On the, uh, what's on the menu there? Smoked salmon and cream gâteau <sighs> with egg yolk, cream, paddlefish, caviar, and microherbs. Um, it <laughs> sounds sounds good, actually. So smoked salmon, uh, cream gâteau with egg yolk, cream. Gâteau is French for cake. 
So this is where my maybe is coming in on that is Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any actual bread in this cream gateau. Mm -hmm. Um, But the caviar is good and micro herbs are good. Smoked salmon's good. Egg yolk's good. So a little bit of cake there. You might have to pick around if you want to, you want to stay on, on track. Uh, The other thing that they have there is a charcuterie palette with uh, artisan cured meats and cheeses featuring Nusks Applewood smoked beefs. I'm assuming that's Nusks. They're one of the sponsors of the festival. Ooh, they have sponsored the Arts and Crafts Festival. Um, yeah, uh, charcuterie is always a great option. In fact, the last festival... The last food and wine last food festival, and wine festival, festival go to the holidays. There was a handheld uh, charcuterie, which, we, which was... It was in a cone. Yeah, it was in a cone. Where was that? It was near Germany. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I think it was Spain. I think it was a Spain... Espanol. A Spain booth. Okay. España. Okay, what's next? Next is El Artista... Ambriento. The hungry artist. Which, take a guess where that's at. Just just guess. Uh, it's in Mexico. They have oh. the agave pork belly, which is pork belly caramelized with agave atop pumpkin seed pesto lentil salad. Yeah. I had this, and maybe it's because it was the first day. No. It was kind of awful. Kind of awful. So agave is, is a type of, of sweetener. Yes. Uh, so... Yeah, and caramelized with that. So yeah, this probably sounds like on the... It's on the cusp of yeah. probably shouldn't be on the list, yeah. but... But you know, it's pork belly, pumpkin seed, pesto lentil. That's that's all good. All those things are on the diet. So yeah, that's, there, there we go. Uh, the next on the list. Oh, darn it. L'art di mangiare. What he said, uh, which is in Italy. Uh, it is. They there have the insalata di gamberi al limon di zagar. You you literally you, you did this so that I would have to say this. No, one. I didn't. It, it is a salad of poached shrimp in Sicilian lemons, arugula, shaved fennel, avocado, and citrus dressing. Now this sounds like a pretty awesome little keto thing depending on if there's any sugar in minus this. the yeah. dressing yeah but uh, citrus dressing not gonna be that much maybe a tablespoon or two of the dressing uh and the other option that they have there is a polo a la perendello which is a golden chicken gum strip <laughs> which is a a gum strip which is a golden chicken dumb <laughs> a dumb stick it is a golden chicken drum. <laughs> it's a golden chicken drumstick stuffed with ricotta cheese and pomodoro sauce. Yes, that. What you said. What's next? Next is goshiki in Japan. Ooh. They have a sushi donut, which is donut-shaped sushi featuring salmon, tuna, shrimp, cucumber, and sesame seed over a decorated plate of wasabi aioli sriracha and eel sauce so a caveat here is that this uh sushi donut because i i if you look at the picture it it's wrapped around rice and the rice definitely not yeah, yeah no not keto but if you were to take your uh handle handle handles chopsticks yeah those and pick the uh the things off the rice then you're good you're golden there because the uh, aioli is basically mayonnaise um and uh everything else on there is good Sriracha is awesome. The eel sauce sounds a bit suspect, but... No, that's... it's eel. It's, it's eel. No, thank you. Uh, the next is... I knew I was going to have to this one. <laughs> L'art de cuisine. Is that it? L'art... L'art de cuisine française. That. Uh, there they have the... Tomate farci façon Paul Bocuse. Which is a tomato stuff with braised ribs, Paul, Paul Bocuse, Bocuse style. Some dude named Paul stuffs the uh, the tomatoes Look with up the ribs. What that actually is? Uh, the thing to important here. The thing that's important here is that this is again a tomato. Uh, so that is a fruit. So it's going to be higher in carbs. However, the braised ribs, those are pretty much on the diet. So it depends on how loose you want to play there as to whether you're going to uh, pick that out or not. Paul Bocuse. He was a chef. Mall cop. <laughs> was, was that him? No, I think that was Paul Blart. Right, Regardless, it's yeah. Paul Bocuse style. If you know what that is, 
Let us know. Let us know in the comments down below. And then finally, since you did that one, I'll do this one. Finally, the Refreshment Outpost, which is uh, right before Canada, right in the World Showcase. No, that's Refreshment Port. Oh, that's Refreshment Port. Refreshment Outpost is in the Outpost. Oh, in Africa. Yes, the the part of the World Showcase that... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, It's it's between China and Germany. Yeah. Uh, Over there, uh, it's the plant-based bratwurst with spicy turmeric aioli, coffee, barbecue, jackfruit, and slaw. Now, the jackfruit is the problematic piece of this. As is the bun. (laughs) Oh, yeah. We we need to take the bun off. But uh, the bratwurst sounds really good. It's even better because it's plant-based. Is that why is that better? I For a keto, meat is actually better than plant. But uh, remember, in keto, you want to get about seventy percent of your calories from fat. So fattier meats are actually better. Anyway, uh, the point is, is uh, yeah, it's bratwurst. And who doesn't like bratwurst? Who doesn't like bratwurst? Bratwurst Veget- awesome. vegetarians. I thought they'd like this one. Go. Now, there may be more items uh, scattered around that uh, you may say, hey, I had the Snickelbockler in, uh, in Germany and it was great. Let us know down in the comments if there was some other uh, piece of uh, food there, the piece of food, some other food items there <laughs> that you found that were uh, very uh, keto friendly. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about them. I don't know. <laughs> we'll try them. That's what we'll do. Yes. So. But there you go. Those are the ones that we found uh, from uh, him going to the festival and also us going through the, the festival passport and looking at all the different items there. You have until February 24th to get yourself to Epcot for the Arts and Crafts Festival, the International Festival of the Arts. Is that right? And also crafts. And crafts. Uh, and there you go. And we'll probably have a haul video because we got some uh, artwork there at the yes. at the arts festival. We got some really? art. Really? I know. It's crazy. Uh, there you go. If you like what we do here on this channel, make sure you give us a big thumbs up for this video because that helps other people find us. Yes. Leave a comment down below. Mm-hmm. Tell us all the things that you love at the festivals. All yeah. the things we're missing out on because carps yeah although to be fair disney days kind of end up being cheat days a lot especially when there's a festival going on i I look at it this way we also log about 10 to fifteen thousand steps on those days. yes so you know it's a trade-off here and there uh also if you haven't subscribed to our channel now what what's what's holding you back man just click on click on subscribe you have six days you have six days to... No, not to subscribe. You can subscribe anytime. Well, no, really yes. Can. But if no. you would like to be entered into our 500 <laughs> subscriber giveaway... This is where I was going. Yes. Then you only have six days till the end of February to... Uh, January? Till the end of January <laughs> to uh, leave a comment on that video. It's linked... Uh, it'll be over my face probably right now or over his face. One of the... Anyway, go to that video and uh, leave a comment there in order to be entered into our 500 subscriber giveaway contest. And if you want to reach out to us on the socials, all that information is down below in the doobly do. The doobly do? The doobly do. Okay. Until next time. See you real soon.